Here we have writing an equation that models exponential growth or decay. So again, the same formula. There was a sample of 650 milligrams of radioactive substance to start a study, which means that that's the P value. That's what I'm starting with. Since then, the sample has decayed 8.6%, which is 0 0.086. Um, so that's my R. But because it decayed this, that means my R is negative 0 0.086. Because of the word decayed, it's negative. And it says, let T be the number of years since the start of the study. Let Y be the mass in the sample in milligrams. Write the exponential showing the relationship between Y and T. So Y is the mass of the sample after some time. So that will be like the A. And then the P I know is 650. And then the R I know is going to be negative 0 0.086. And then the T is still unknown. The only thing you can do with this is actually subtract that value and get 0 0.914 raised to the power T. And this is the equation that they're looking for and you have to type in the whole thing. Now, what if it said that it was um, growing at a rate of that, right? If it was growing, then the R would have been positive and this would have been one plus whatever that percentage is as a decimal, okay? So if it says decay, you're going to minus that rate in a decimal form. If it says it's growing, then you're going to add that rate in its decimal form.